السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ برکاتہ وعلیکم السلام و رحمۃ اللہ برکاتہ آئی ایم سجانی خان فرام آسام اف سم ون مس صلاح ڈیورنگ دا لائف ٹائم سو دے ہیو ٹو میک اپ فار مس صلاح اور شوڈ دے ریپینڈ ٹو اللہ فار مس صلاح اینڈ اسٹارٹ دا صلاح ایز فار ایز مسنگ دا صلاح کنسرن دے کین بی ٹو ٹائپس that salah those which are missed out of forgetfulness or if a person is asleep and could not get up or he had done it deliberately the two different types of missing salah if someone has missed salah because of forgetfulness our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said it's mentioned in Sahih Bukhari Rome number one Hadith number 597 The Prophet said, if you forget praying, then pray as soon as possible when you remember it. For there is no expiation for it except this. The same hadith is repeated in Sai Muslim, Ram number 2, hadith number 1566, that the beloved Prophet Muhammad said that if you forget praying Salah, then pray. Pray as soon as you remember it. For there is no expiation for it except praying. That means if a person while doing some important work forgets and does not realize that the time of Salah was there for Maghrib and he forgets praying and then he realizes. The moment he realizes he should pray. In this it's not a sin. Allah will forgive him. You should pray as soon as possible. Or if someone is not able to get up for the Fajr Salah and he misses the Fajr Salah. As long as it is done occasionally once in a while, there is no problem. The moment he gets up, he realizes that he, he, realizes that he has not prayed, he should pray on the spot. But if you don't wake up every Fajr Salah and then say, I did not get up, then the scholar says it's haram. It's a major sin. That means you're not taking care. If you don't get up every day, that means you're not taking care. that you should sleep early, you should keep an alarm, you should see to it that you get up for Fajr Salah. And once in a while, once in a month, etc., you miss, Allah will forgive you. You have to change your lifestyle. Similarly, if you forget once in a while while doing work, but you say, every day you miss, every day you miss your Maghrib Salah because you are doing work and you forget, that's not acceptable, it's a major sin. So once in a while if you forget, or once in a while if you are sleeping and you don't get up, all the scholars actually agree that it's not a sin, You pray as soon as you remember and you will be forgiven and there is no sin for it. Because the Prophet said, pray as soon as you remember and there is no expiation besides that. Now coming to your main question, that what if you were not offering Salah for many years of your life and now you realize it? Or if you don't offer deliberately, you know the time for Salah is there, but I say, you know, okay, I'll pray afterwards, no problem, I'll do Qaza. If you deliberately miss Salah, intentionally thinking that okay, okay I can pray afterwards or I'm busy I don't want to stop my work or I'm playing something and I don't want to stop my play this is a major sin if you deliberately miss it because you're lazy or because you're doing some work or if you're playing this is a major sin now here the opinions differ one group says that in this case okay fine if you missed it deliberately No problem. Later on, you pray. The other group says, no. If you miss it deliberately, it's a major sin. You have to repent. You have to ask for forgiveness. You need not pray again because you did a major sin. You have to repent. The first group which says that you can pray also agree that you have to repent. They agree it's a sin, but they permit you to pray. Saying that your sin is lowered. The other group of scholar, they say no. If you have missed it deliberately, then there is no kafara. There is only repentance. There is no, expi- there is no expiation. There is only repentance. And you have to truly repent, ask for forgiveness. What you can do, you can read other sunnah salah, other nawafil salah, and do good deeds. 
for it. But you don't have to pray that Salah again. So both agree that it's a major sin. Both group agree that you have to repent. But the first group says you can offer that Salah. It will lower the second group, so it should not. Based And among the second group, you have various scholars. You have the saying of Hazrat Umar, may Allah be peace with him. And as the Quranic verse says in Surah Nisa, chapter 4, verse number 103. The second group, which says you need not pray, they based on the verse of the Quran of Surah Nisa, chapter 4, verse number 103, that prayer should be prayed on its prescribed time. And there are many other verses. And there are several hadith. So you have to pray on prescribed time. So if you miss it out of forgetfulness, or if you are sleeping, you didn't do it intentionally, and there are various hadith, which I quoted to you from Bukhari and Muslim, in which the Prophet said, the moment you realize it, you pray. The Prophet also said, in Sai Muslim, volume number two, hadith number 1569, that if a person sleeps and misses his prayer, or forgets to pray, the moment he remembers it, he should pray, for there is no expiation except this. That means if you forget or if you are asleep, as I told earlier, this is accepted, Allah will forgive you, there is no sin. But according to Hazrat Umar, may Allah be pleased with him, and his son Abdullah ibn Umar, and various other sahabas, their view is that if you deliberately miss it, the Prophet was very clear, that it is a major sin, you have to repent. And there is no dalil in any hadith in which the Prophet said that if you may deliberately, you should pray it. Yes, everyone agrees it's a major sin. So because there is no dalil, there is no evidence in the Quran or the hadith that if you miss it deliberately, because the Quran says very clearly that the prayer should be offered in its prescribed time, this is talking about the first salah, the five-time first salah. If you miss it, you cannot pray later unless you forget, you do it in forgetfulness or in sleeping. Two conditions, that's it. There's no third condition. So because there's no dalil, you cannot say, I will pray. Yes, you can read more nafil, you can read more sunnah, you can do more deeds to try to compensate. That is accepted, but that salah cannot be prayed late. And there are various scholars who believe in this view, including Ibn Hazm, including Sheikh al-Islam Ibn Taymiyyah, including Ibn Qayyum, and even the, the scholars of the recent time, Sheikh bin Baz, Sheikh Nasr al-Albani, Sheikh Utaymi, all of them agree that there is no compensation for Salah which you have missed purposely, or Salah which you have not prayed in the past. And your question is that you have not prayed and now you want to start praying. So do you have to cover up all the Salahs you have missed? So one group says, yes, you can cover every time you pray Zohar, you pray two. And they give various formulas how to cover. Okay, when you pray Fajr, you pray one more Fajr, which you have missed. And this way try and catch up, which in which there is no Dalil. For all the Ibadah, you require Dalil. So second group said, no, it's not required. But both the groups agree it's a major sin. You have to repent. But one group says you can read it slowly, slowly, slowly. Imagine if a person at the age of 50 realizes that he has not prayed. And now he realizes that he should have prayed. And he wants to start praying. So he'll calculate that he became an adult at the age of 14, 15. So past 35, 36 years I have not prayed. So if I have to compensate 35 years into 365 days, multiply by 5 times a day, mashallah. <laughs> the person would get scared. I imagine if I have to compensate, it's a must for me to compensate. Halas. Even if you prayed every Fajr, one Fajr extra, it'll take another 35 years. Will the man of the age of 50 lift till the age of 85 and then it will be forgiven? So, but natural, the group which say that if you miss it purposefully or if you have not prayed and want to pray, you cannot, you don't have to pray again, is the more authentic and the correct view of Sheikh bin Baz, Sheikh Nasr al Bani, Sheikh Utaymin, uh, Sheikh al Islam. Uh, Ibn Tayyim, uh, Ibn Taymiyyah, Ibn Qayyum, all these. I agree that this is the right opinion which should be followed because imagine it will put off a person that if he wants to pray at the age of 50, he will think a million times. Imagine I have to compensate. Here, 
if you realize your mistake, ask for forgiveness, do toba, repent, alhamdulillah. Every salah you can repent, no problem. And read more sunnah, read more nafil, no problem. Do more good deeds, no problem. Because that's a major sin. What is done? Repent and inshallah I'll forgive you. So in your case also, if you realize today, irrespective of what your age is, of the past, inshallah, ask for forgiveness. Agree what you did was wrong. Number two, don't do it again. Means don't miss again. Number three, pray all five times a day for the rest of your life. And read more nafil, more sunnah, do more good deeds. And see to it that you don't miss your salah in future. Inshallah, this should be sufficient.